오늘 이걸 써볼 건데 CNP Laboratory 처음 써보는 거 이런 게 있어요 손으로 하면 이게 나머지 패드가 오염되니까 집게로 한 거네 그다음에 깨끗하게 만져주자 올려놓고 씌우고 뚜껑 닫고 완전 쿨링 잘 된다 엄청 시원해 나머지로 이렇게 수분 스티클이 많이 건조해서 손등 이렇게 로션을 발라야 되는데 좀 귀찮아서 이렇게 남은 수분 패드로 해도 충분해요 팔꿈치도 지금 이두나 보고 있는데 되게 좀 새로워요 왜 예전에 이두나 안 봤는지 모르겠어요 지금 테이스가 달라서 새로운 지금 무슨 컨실러가 맞는지 한번 볼 건데 아탈룸 제대로 잠시만 우리 아닌데 그냥 친한 건데 그치? 그런데 그냥 친하다고? 다시 따로 있는데 이걸 한번 잘 써봐. 맞는다고 소울메이트 같다고 이건 너무 주황색이다 맞네 좋다 소울메이트 <웃음> 컨실러를 <웃음> 해봤는데 이게 화면으로는 더 이상해 보인다 이게 팔레트를 제가 써봤는데 평소에 많이 안 써서 그런지 좀 이상해 보이네요 이제 밴딩을 좀 해볼게요 <웃음> 근데 이거 왜 이렇게 색깔이 이상하지? 내가 잘못 썼나? 모르겠다. 이렇게 하는 게 맞는지 모르겠어. 아직 여드름 커버가 좀덜 됐네. 근데 여기는 아 이게 아닌가? 어떻게 하는지 잘 모르겠어요. 근데 실제로는 이것보다는 좀 괜찮아 보여요. 그거는 그거 하나는 제가 일단 점수 나와요. 이렇게 하니까 좀 되게 화사해졌어. 생각하면서 이렇게 얼굴 중간에다가 먼저 바른 다음에 이제 목도 발라야 되죠? 되게 예뻐. 목은 네. 손으로 일단 좀 골고루 핀 다음에 아, 얼굴 엄청 커야 됐죠? 닥쳐도 이렇게 많이 따. 평소보다는 조금. 근데 너무 화장이 진해서 이것도 좀. 진주한테 벚꽃 보러 가자고 했어요. 진짜? 근데? 전후를 해봐야겠다 어. 맞고 건조하고 후안 간다고 할줄 알았는데 뭐, 무슨 마음 And then now we're gonna do some shading So contour powder 그러게 아 진짜 많이 폈다 contour stick You see how much I love this? 백수진은 아파트 단지 먹고 있어 진짜 예쁜데 기억나? But first 아, I start 거기, with a contour 맞아, 맞아. stick 우리 학원 하루 찍고 거기 둘이 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 
and then blend. And then now, with a small brush, go over the same line, the same places that you use the contour stick with. So I start with the light, the lighter contour uh, shade. I fill in my eyebrows a bit, and then I just add the edge of this. I like combining um, dry and stick contour because it helps, uh, it, it lasts throughout the day and also it makes the, the shadow more pronounced. And here, I try not to go make my lines so big, I try to make it, keep it precise and keep it within where the cream contour was. You can kind of see it looks natural from the side. There isn't like a straight line down from my eyebrow. But it kind of stops there, stops here. It looks like a very natural shadow while also swimming and adding structure to it. I also like adding a bit to my eyelids. Just for that extra dimension. Makes my eyes look bigger. And since it's the lighter shadow shade, it's pretty natural. You can't really tell doesn't really interfere with my um, eye makeup later either. And, <clears throat> and then with the bigger brush, start with the lighter shade. Kind of just brush my temple on my cheek, cheekbone. I saw this thing on YouTube where you're meant to kind of shade. If you have like a round face, you're meant to shade here, here, and then here, and leave this space empty, because if it's a block, it doesn't look natural. And then around the chin area, and then under the jaw. So here, compared to this, oh, <laughs> it looks like I have contour on it already, but no. Just adding on to the existing shadow. Even though it's going to be covered by my hair, add that dimension. So you see, look, my face looks one here. The shadow starts from here to here and makes my face look narrower. And then connect it with the neck. And then going in with the darker shadow, just emphasizing the edges of the face. I think that's why I go for pretty light um, foundation because I add in a lot of shadow afterwards. So it's a good contouring technique, in my opinion. Now we're gonna do the eye makeup. This is a palette I got from Olive Young. Uh, it's Lily by Red, it's a Korean brand. And I recently realized that I might be like a neutral or a cool tone because I, I thought I was a warm tone for my entire life so I thought like oranges, browns look good on me but pink actually looks better. Pink suits my features more so let me show you pink makeup that I do. So with a bigger, with a big brush, big fluffy brush, I like to go with like this light pink. I'm going to double check with the mirror because If I make it too big, then I lose the And then with the 
with a smaller brush, you see? Small but fluffy brush. It's, it's a little firmer. Going with the same pink shade. And now we're gonna go for the under eye. Adding the same kind of washer color. And pretty similar to the Now I'm going to put some mascara on um, I will always say that this is my favorite mascara ever. Kill Lash from Cleo. Um, the super soft mascara long curl is like waterproof and extending. I don't really like mascara that gets volume because of my Asian lashes. More than volume, I need more. It would make sense if I had more lashes, but I don't, so lengthening is what I My tip for drawing eyeliner is to use existing shadows that you see. Instead of just making the eyeliner going straight up, I try to use existing shadows so it looks natural. So for my eye shape, the shadow actually goes down. So it does seem counterintuitive to draw down, but that it works. So start from the lash line a little in. Kind of draw till about there where the shadow ends and then with my nail I smudge it like slightly straight slightly up so you see a very natural line same with here yay so when I smile my Eyeliner disappears, so it naturally elongates my, my eye. And then I'll I'll skip the liquid liner part because I think because I'm just following the same one.
which I think is why it blends with the lip liner color as well. So this is what it looks like. I fear I made this side a little too long, but this side is perfect. You see? Now I'm going to emphasize my Idusa. Not with glitter, but with a little more shadow. So it's not ideal that I'm using the same brush, but with the same angled brush. Because I need precision. I kind of just wipe off the excess shadow so then I until I have no pigment. Then I go back with the initial pink color that we use as a base eyeshadow. So I dab a bunch of uh, eyeshadow onto it and then I just kind of dab my other line. I'm just stamping a lot of pink on there, like this. Yeah. You can see the pink even on the camera, so it's quite a lot of pink. Um, because I don't really like chunky glitter. I don't think it really suits my features for some reason. I need to figure out a way to make it a little more suited to my face. But that is a task for another day. Now I'm going to do my blush. Or I'll do my lips first. So I got this really cute Hello Kitty um, lip thing. I don't know if you can see. It also has this Hello Kitty thing. But it's, um, they have two kinds. So it's a jelly tint and then a lip tint. So this one is just more like a lipstick. It's in the shade, I don't know what shade this is. I think I, I had the choice between a, like a coral warm tone pink and then a cool tone pink. So I chose a cool tone pink. As I told you guys that I uh, recently figured out that I might be a cool tone or a neutral tone. Yeah, so that's kind of how I like to blend out my lips. So first in the middle and the bottom. And then at the top and I blend in the middle and down here first before adding pigment here to kind of create more dimension to my lips as well. So I apply too much. And I try to go in with the same uh, lip for my blush. I'm gonna blend it quickly. I'm trying to concentrate it in the middle of my face. Not so much the cheekbone. I used to apply it a lot here, which I don't think really made sense for my face shape. And then go in evenly this side. I think this is this is the general shape for blending. For my like round peanutty face. I'll do the same here. Bring it down a little bit. What I really want to get is a color analysis, like face analysis in Korea. Right now, these are all hypotheses. Um, yeah. Oh, and also, we're about to add a little more to my nose. I like adding it here and also on my chin for a little more cohesion. And the nose bridge, only a t the tiniest bit. It smells like apple. And here as well. Less is more, but not in terms of blush. I want to add more. I can't really see it on camera, so I'm trying to add enough. 
enough so it can be seen. I like that this uh, lip product doesn't really stain because then I wouldn't be able to use it on my cheeks. It would, it would um, set too quickly. Also, another tip that I found recently was for lips, on top of the way I apply it, when you add gloss, you also only apply it in the middle, like the, the places where you want to emphasize the, the highlight. So where you first apply the lipstick is also where you apply the gloss, and you don't blend the gloss, that's the only difference. So like here, in the middle, at the cusp of the lip, and then here. Yeah, like that. You see? It makes it pop even more. This is a really cute um, gloss, a glitter pink gloss from Colorgram. I don't know what shade it is. Um, pink gloss, fruity glass tint. Oh, it's a tanguru tank. Oh. So it's that. It's inspired by tanguru, the, the fruit covered in sugar. Yeah, so I guess the shape of it. <clears throat> now, most important part, we're going to add highlighter. This is. This has now become the favorite part of my uh, makeup routine. I add it even when I only put on sunscreen because I love, like even when I don't put on contour, I sometimes put on highlighter because it's so fun. Like I, I have, I've had this highlighter for so long, but I never knew how to use it. This is also Lily by Red. It's number two, it's the Holy Beam. So it's a pink, purpley, uh, highlight shape of a heart let me show you guys first what it looks like so it's this color I guess you can't really see it so I'll show you how I apply it first so I know you know now it's kind of the trend to add it in the inner eye except you see where my shadow is like my face shape is a little different from the other examples. So you see how I my, sh my gleaming point is actually down here. So I'm gonna add it where my shadows exist, where my like high points exist. So with the same um, airy but firm brush, I'm gonna put a bit of the highlighter and then Same with this eye. And I also really like the New Jean stage makeup where they uh, they connect the inner corner highlight with the under eye highlight, I guess I. I'm gonna do something similar. So over that pink eyeshadow that we put earlier, I'm gonna put a bit of the highlighter. And then, same with the nose contour. You see my high points here and here? That's where I'm gonna put my highlighter. Thank God the sun came out because it's helping with my highlight placement in here. It's so fascinating. And for me, my high point of the face seems to be here. You see where the light is. That's where I'm going to put my highlighter too. I tried the other day because my face highlights kind of this way in this triangle. And I tried applying it like that yesterday and it looked good. I'm going to do something similar on this side too. There we 
go. I don't know if you can see my highlight. If you can. See this side? I think this is such a good fit for me. I'm very happy with this makeup look. I know my I'm wearing a lot more base makeup than usual, but everything else remains the same. Normally I just wear uh, sunscreen without really much coverage to let my skin breathe, but for the sake of the video, I put on a lot of uh, concealer and also some water-based foundation. But I think these are close to their expiry dates, so I need a I might need it to get some replacement. This is my makeup routine. Thank you for watching. Here's my makeup routine. I don't know how to film more result video result shots. The sun will come out tomorrow. The bottom brothers that tomorrow will be sung. I hope it doesn't ruin my lip. There we go. I only know how to blink with this side. This side doesn't really work. Okay.